Hello. So I'm outside right now. Uh, let me show you guys what I have on. Um, so I wore this to work last night. Well, this morning. I got off this morning. Um, so I'm outside being a responsible adult right now. I'm having a car day. So um, I'm at the Honda dealership trying to get my car tire changed. And um, they said it's going to be a couple of hours. I went to Goodyear. I wasn't getting a good vibe from the guy. So I was like, let me go to where I am familiar with. Um, so I was going to go to Firestone, which is nearby as well. And so um, he, they were backed up as well. So I was like, well, let me just take you to the dealership since they're right here. And so that's where I am right now. Um, so I have a stain on my seat because I have been, you guys can look, and y'all see my hair is greasy. So I am a person who likes oil, okay? I like my hair to stay good in the oil, okay? <laughs> By the way, I worked my other job yesterday. Then I <clears throat> worked last night <clears throat> overnight. And now I am walking around. So I'm going to go home my stuff together and do what I have to do but first I have to take care of my car first okay so anyways I have a stain on my seat and I read online that I can use WD-40 um, to get the stain out if I let it sit on there so I was telling you about the grease I got a grease stain on it because I left the grease make just a teeny teeny bit open while I went to work and I came back the whole seat was covered in grease I was so annoyed because I'm trying to keep my car clean you know um, but hey what can you do so now I'm walking to advance auto parts and then I am going to go to chick-fil-a and get me some food because I don't want my sugar getting low so yeah, maybe I'll go to Subway. Subway's right there by Advanced Bottle Auto Parts. Maybe I will. <sighs> it's been such a good day. You know, I feel so much better than I did last night. Like last night, I had my sugar started acting up while I was at work. But it's something that like it happened so suddenly. Um, so I, it was something I was dealing with all day, honestly. Um, it was something I was dealing with all day, honestly, because I um, I didn't eat in the morning time. That's when I noticed the most problems. Um, then I waited till like almost 10 o'clock to eat two toaster strudels, which had that sugar in there. And then I didn't eat again until like I started feeling really horrible. So it was like after, I don't know if you guys have ever had this issue, but when you have a problem with sugar, you get really, really like confused get like it feels like you're about to pass out it's just all these feelings you know so that's what I was feeling yesterday and so um that's what I was going through and so I got real irritable <laughs> and I was trying like so then I ate food and I ate it too late and I started feeling nauseous because I ate it too quick so it was that type of thing so anyways I went oh smoothie king maybe I should get a smoothie I am walking. Look at, look at, look at mine. Sis, what are you doing? What are you, what are you trying to prove? I still got my holster on. But listen, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I don't know if I'm gonna get a smoothie or I'm gonna get, cause McDonald's right here too. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm not going to McDonald's. So, <laughs> I decided I was gonna take a walk right now cause I need to exercise more and I just need to do more. I need to do more sis you just need to do more and then i'm gonna um he said a couple hours so and then after that i'm gonna go back to the dealership and get my car there's also some, some stores on this side of town i mean this side where i could probably go to you know keep myself occupied because normally when i go inside of that place i be knocked out because it's always after i leave work that i go to deal with my car so I fall asleep every time and they be having me waiting for like th three or four hours 
and then they be having to give me a discount because they just sat there and forgot about me and i ain't you know, I be noticing this a long time, but I don't be like, oh, this is way too long. I need a discount, you know. <laughs> so, but it's always a very long time. And I be like, dang, I've been here forever. I'm like, did they forget about me? But I believe in having patience. So, I mean, sometimes like it gets a little bit like, hey, sis, you, you know you got me waiting. And the last time when I went, the guy hit my car or something. So, he had to give me a discount. I got four was it three three feet oil changes so i was upset because it's like it wasn't no dent in my car or anything it was just like he tapped it but at least he was honest about it you know like oh i hit your car i'm gonna just do this and so the lady she came out and she gave me a little discount so i arrived here in advanced auto parts i'm going in I got the WD-40. I got a little small one. Now I'm looking for oil. I think I got the FW-30 last time. But I'm going to have to ask somebody to help me so I won't get the wrong one. They're going to be calling me in a minute to ask me if I want an oil change too. But I don't want them to change my oil this time. Because I went to them to get my oil changed last time. So this time I'm going to change it myself and then... The next time I'm gonna go back to them so I can save my coin, you know. Did I make the right decision by not getting food before I went to um, to drop my car off? Because I feel like I may not be able to go inside of Chick-fil-A and get food. And I could probably order it on the app and then they could bring it outside to me. But do I got space on my phone? <laughs> Y'all wondering what's that? My hair is just greasy, you know? So that was a bus. Um, so their system is down, so they can't ring me up for, for, for that. And then the Chick-fil-A that was over here is no longer here. So I won't be getting Chick-fil-A today, but I can eat Smoothie King though. They told me 30 minutes. So maybe once I go get me a smoothie and do what I got to do, I can come back and get the oil. But the car dealership going to be calling me in a second, telling me that they, um, that I need an oil change. I forgot to tell the guy that I didn't want one. Um, they're going to be calling me in a minute saying, oh, Ms. Hayes, you want, do you want um, oil change? Because you need one. My car is at 20%. I have been working every single day. And normally on Saturdays, I go home after I get off because I'd be exhausted. But I'm like, I really need, I really need to do this. Okay. So I went ahead and I sucked it up the sleep that I need and I'm going <laughs> to get this first and then and I always think it's really weird when it's like smoke coming out of the building hold on so what do you guys think I'm gonna get you think I'm gonna get Chick-fil-a I mean you think I'm gonna get Smoothie King or Subway I think I might get Subway because I can get a tuna sandwich and that's still healthy is tuna healthy it's not really healthy huh but do I want to have something about this <laughs> so when i was in um auto advanced auto they was like the guy was like oh you, you find a um, chick-fil-a around here i'll buy you chick-fil-a and i was like this is the wrong way to tell me that <laughs> there ain't no food over here so the lady was like oh no they tore it down you know so we want a subway because we we old buddies at the chick-fil-a i actually had chick-fil-a yesterday and I had to throw my lemonade away because I had let it sit in the car all night while I was sleeping. Well, not all night. I was sitting there all night. Well, all morning. And when I went to go take a sip out of it, it seemed like it was about to give me a stomach ache. So, I just decided I'm not going to. Smoothie King will seem so good right now. But it's like $8 for one smoothie. And then, what if I get hungry again? I can go pay $6 for a sandwich. I might end up going to Smoothie King. I don't see no Subway. I might end up going to Smoothie King anyway. Is this a sign? Is this a sign? <laughs> I see the sign back there. The big sign that says Subway. Yeah, there's no Subway either. I don't know if this is a pandemic related issue. But I'm at Smoothie King. <laughs> so, um, I'm in 
the smoothie king right now. Waiting on my smoothie. Oh, I'm just showing y'all all of my cash. So, yeah, I guess that's it. I was gonna show you guys my Chick Fil A order, and I was gonna talk to you guys. Smoothie King is just such a vibe. Like it's just such a relaxed ish, um, just place. Maybe I can wait here until I'm done getting my car done instead of me walking around. <laughs> um, I want to join the gym so that I can, you know, get myself together. And I need like a more clear state of mind. I noticed that when I walk the most, I lose the most weight. Not like do any type of cardio or anything. The thing that gets the pounds off the quickest is walking. Drinking more water, so I might do that. You know, incorporate walking more in my activities. I am at work all the time, so that's difficult for me. But not in a like I'm not gonna do it way. I'm just saying that it's difficult. But nothing is more important than my health, so I most definitely am going to find a way to figure out how to incorporate this into my schedule. But in the next couple of weeks, a lot of things are going to change for me. Um, I will update you guys a little bit more about that um, that background noise that you guys are hearing. That smoothie came. They're making me a smoothie right there. Doesn't it look refreshing? Did you guys see it? I hope you did because I didn't want nobody to think I was recording them. So I just did, like flash, flash. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Look at this. So anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video.